we present the case of a 27-year-old man with a talar lateral domosuchondral defect, grade 3b, of the International Cartilage Research Society. We'll start with the debridement of the damaged cartilage and the removal of the free, non-viable fragments. After that, we proceeded to curate the calcified subchondral plate until we reach healthy subchondral bone. Next step, we use an advanced, less invasive bone marrow stimulation technique, the nanofracture. This technique allows us to perform deeper 9 mm, but a smaller in diameter 1 mm holes comparing to a standard microfracture techniques. The objective is to increase the recruitment and produce less damage in the subchondral bone. In this case, we perform eight nanofracture holes. After that, we debride any possible small bore or chondral free fragments. Then we proceeded to change vision to anterolateral lateral portal to take overall lesion preparation. That means if we did the right number and positioning of the nanofractures holes to cover all lesion area. After that, we proceeded to dry the lesion, stopping water pump and aspiration. Then, through a small junk hour, we introduced lentines to directly dry the lesion as much as possible. When it is done, we proceed to implant drop-wise the BST cartilage into the lesion area using a 16G needle. The objective is to construct the clot covering all subchondral defect of the talar dome. Once we cover all the lesion area, the jellification process starts and it could take overall 15 minutes until we finally get the desired stable cut.